Hi, glad you could join us. I'm Annette Sherman. This is Community. You know, when I am out somewhere or having lunch or dinner, people will come up and, and tell me they enjoy the program. When are you going to have the players on and Jeffrey Kinn again? <laughs> you know, we've had dozens of shows between the last time we've had Jeffrey Kinn on, but you're in luck. We have Jeffrey today, and I'm going to introduce my guests. In fact, let's start with Jeffrey Kinn. And I have made this admission on television many times. I adore Jeffrey Kinn. I adore him for many reasons. He's a really great looking guy, and he's extremely talented. He can dance, he can sing, he can direct, he can write, he, he can do all anything to do with theater or performing. He does expertly. He does exceedingly well. That's my friend Jeffrey Kinn. Hello, my dear. Then we have the beautiful and very, very talented Eve Caballero. Now, Eve has a lot of wonderful things happening in her life. She has a very capable and very sought after husband who is a physician. And uh, his name, coincidentally, is Caballero. And he has, he's got the, a, a practice called What Eve? Private Physician Services. It's okay. a concierge. It's a, it's a concierge doctor, so, yes. which is a terrific thing because it means that when you need to see them, if you have sniffles like I have, but I'm not going to see a doctor about it. Anyway, <laughs> if you need to see uh, Dr. Caballero, you can see him at any time because that's your contract with him. So, and he's an excellent physician with an excellent and beautiful and talented wife with lovely daughter who's going to be... Uh, performing mm -hmm. in, in an upcoming show that we're going to talk about. Uh, a lot of talent in that family. And uh, the Caballero's son, who I guess is following in the footsteps of his uh, medical dad, and he's going to be... A, a physician assistant in town. Right yes. now, but yes. he'll move into being a physician eventually. As Eve Caballero, if you've been to the Players of Sarasota, you've probably seen Eve on stage, and we're going to, we've inveigled that that word is, is explanatory. We've inveigled Eve to sing a, a little segment of a song for us. We don't you what? Mm -hmm. Just a little bit, yeah. What's that? Just a little bit of a song, yes. It's a little I'm agreeing with you, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Last but not least is the the head of the board of the Sarasota Players, and a very important job, and of late, uh, and, uh, probably maddening job. <laughs> with all the things they're having is Donna DeFont. And Donna is, looks none the worse for wear, actually, takes it all in her stride. And we're going to find, OK, Donna, bring us up to speed. What's happening with all that is changes and all those anticipations and what have you? Well, we did sell our current property on US 41. And luckily, we're going to be able to stay in our current facility at the Player Center for the next two years while we build out in Lakewood Ranch. The new um, development that is where our theater is going to be is called Waterside Place. And we were fortunate last week to be at the groundbreaking for the new Waterside Place. They're going to be putting in the roads in that development in fourth quarter. And then Schroeder Manatee Ranch will start building out there in 2019. And we hope to follow with our plans to build there in 2019 as well. So we have a beautiful new rendering of what our facility will probably look like. And um, we're going to use the money that we have raised from the sale of our property as the seed money to get that started. But we're going to need help from the entire community to see this project through. So we're hoping to uh, meet with lots of people both in Sarasota and Lakewood Ranch to do this. And this development is still going to be in Sarasota County. So it's South Lakewood Ranch. And we're very excited to get started on this project. I can imagine. It's been going on a long time and longer than than the publicity has indicated, because I remember years ago with, with Jeffrey talking about this is going to happen, and we're going to get there, and we need more space here, and we need to have that, and we are growing so much. Right. The fact is that, worry not, folks, that the players will continue. You know the show must go it on. Does. And the show will go on during this set up during, well, there's going to be a big event that I'll tell you about. Get your pens ready to make a note of, <coughs> excuse me, make note on this. Because although you read in the newspaper that there was a sizable sum of money gotten for the property of the theater, 
it, it ain't close even in the ballpark of what is necessary for the complex that will take its place further north in town. But we'll keep you informed on that. Okay. Eve, how many shows have you been in at the Players? Oh, my goodness about? gracious. Just, just a rough estimate. I think I've done about 10 leads ten? at the Players. Maybe more. Maybe more. And, and <laughs> I, I, I know that, that uh, it is a godsend, in a way, for you to be there with all your talent and not decide that you're going to leave your family and go and try for Broadway. Don't do that. Stay right here. We love you. <laughs> we love the way what you do when you're on stage. Thank you. And uh, that's perfectly fine. I love it. Uh, okay, I deal. It. Uh, your lovely daughter is going to be singing <clears throat> in the same show that you're in coming up at the Players. Yes. Well, it's a fundraiser on February 9th and it's called Smitten with the 70s. And it's actually taking place at the Lakewood Ranch Country Club. It will be a dinner dance, uh, singing, fun, auctions. And my daughter and I will sing the lead vocals with a live band. Uh, it's during... gonna be a big event. Yeah. We, we, uh, Eve mentioned the date, I'm gonna mention the date again. It's February 9th. Yep. Coming up. Now, let's put that telephone number on the screen, please, Damon. Uh, the telephone number for you to call and make your reservation and send in your check or stop by the theater. Now, there's the number that you need to call. Uh, it was on the screen. I, I Trust me, but it wasn't on terribly long. But we'll put it on again for you. Here it goes again. Now, you can call. You can also get the players on online, mm -hmm. which is a good thing to do because you can do that at, at 2 o'clock in the morning or... Uh, five o'clock in the afternoon, anytime. Whereas the telephone, unless they have their staff there uh, at th that time, you're not going to get an answer. You'll get an answering machine, which is okay because you can give, you leave your number and tell what you wanted. But you do want to be at this event, February the ninth. The ninth. Okay, Eve. It's going to be a sit-down dinner. I understand. Yes. Okay. What else is going to be there? Well, we will have. Some live auction. We're going to have live auction. Auctions. Maybe we might have some dancing demonstrations that we're working on. We'll definitely have dance music, food, booze. Are you going to fun. be performing? Yes. Yes, I'll okay. be singing. My and do me a favor. I know that it, it's unfair to ask entertainers to, to, particularly singers who haven't warmed up. I can do it. You brought music along with you. You probably carry music all the time. I uh, do. If you. Stand up. I'm warning the, the camera people that you are going to stand up. There you go. And even that was entertaining. With a shimmy. Okay. What, what is the song you're going this to This is Elton John's Crocodile Rock, which was uh, a big hit in the 70s. Okay. So here we go. Eve Caballero. Crocodile Rock. Woo! I remember when a rock was young Me and Susie had so much fun Holding hands and skimming stones Had an old gold Chevy and a place of my own But the biggest kick I ever got Was doing a thing called the Crocodile Rock While the other kids were rocking round the clock we were hopping and bobbing to the crocodile rock. Well, crocodile rocking is something shocking when your feet just can't keep still. I never knew me a better time, and I guess I never will. Oh, well, Lordy Mama, on Friday night, when Susie wore her dresses tight, crocodile rocking was out of sight. Whoa. Thank you. Crocodile rocking. I never knew half those words until you Neither just said Neither did I. Absolutely, absolutely lovely, you adorable, the very talented Eve Caballero. 
And now the very talented. There's so much I want to find out so from much. you, Jeff. So much. Yes. Hi. Hi. Tell us. Tell us what you're thinking <laughs> and what's happening. Well, I'm surrounded by talent, which is amazing. Donna has been incredible as our board chair to help us through this project. Very and important. A function. very mm -hmm. important function. And then, of course, Eve is not only doing that function for us in February, the gala. She's also in the show that we're about to do at the Players right now, called. Vanya and Sonia and Masha and Spike. I did. Vanya and Sonia and two other guys. To Masha and Spike. It's a really funny play written by Christopher Durang. I'm the director. I have an amazing cast of about and six Eve people. Eve is in it. And Eve plays a, a film star and she is priceless. Aging film star. Aging film star. <laughs> So we open that, we run that show at the Player Center through November 11th. So I'm, of course, excited Every about that. Every show she's been in, uh, the, the, the reviews have singled her out to, to talk about her talent yeah. and her, how delightful and lovely she was in the part, how yeah. professional she was. So I know and I, I'm, I'm very happy that you are happy yourself playing performing at the players. Mm -hmm. that it's convenient, you can stay home, you can raise your kids, you can be with your husband, you don't have to travel around the world, and you, it satisfies your need for your, to perform. It it's definitely a, does. It's important, so, that's important. Yeah. yeah, that's very important. So you've really done a very wise thing in staying with the players because they love open arms to Eve Caballero. All talent come to us. Yes. We have a we are in our 89th season, so we've been around wow. 89 years. Mm -hmm. We just closed uh, Annie Get Your Gun, which had Ray reviews. We're doing Banya Sanya and Masha and Spike, which is a really funny play. We're doing mm -hmm. All Shook Up in December, which is all Elvis music. So we're we want to give a little Elvis for Christmas. Um, and then in January, we're doing Hairspray at our theater. And then Putnam County Spelling Bee in February. And then we're closing out our Wild Broadway series with uh, Stephen Sondheim's Follies. So we have a jam-packed, exciting year that we thought might be our last year at the space. But it's not. We're going to be there a whole nother year, our 90th season. So we're planning that okay. now as well. Th these things don't happen overnight. There's so many aspects to building, particularly when you're building, you're not going into a, a facility that, that was there. So you're building it and you're building what you want and what you need yeah. and what you're going to be excited about. Right. Mm -hmm. So the people who love the players, and I'm one of them, it's one mm -hmm. of my favorite experiences, and I love going. And I thought sometimes it's because I love uh, Jeffrey, and it, it <laughs> has to do with it because, because I want to see what he's created. Because uh, I, I, I do love Jeffrey. But the fact is, what he creates is just like Eve Caballero. What you're in and what you have when you perform, it's not just that I like you because you're a lovely person and a very nice person, and I think your husband is a very gifted physician, uh, but the fact is that you are a wonderful performer yeah. and has done some roles of the players that were tantamount to equal to anything on Broadway. Uh, really, well, you know, nice. you must know that. That's you so must nice know that you're it. special and you're talented, and we love having you. And the same thing with you, Jeffrey. And what you do takes a certain, a unique kind of talent. I hate what you do <laughs> because I don't think I could do it. I'm not sure I could do what they're doing, but, but it's a little closer to my training. Right. At any rate, you have a great group of people. We do. And the players will go on until the day, and we're going to do a special program because I'm looking forward to it myself, to telling you about the new complex and giving you, showing you the pictures. Yep. And But right now, what they need, and you're not going to believe this because you say, well, they take millions for their property before. They need still need additional money, Jeffrey. Yeah. Yes, we do. Well, naming opportunities is our goal. So we have this 70,000 square foot building that we're building three different theaters, every space could be the Annette Sherman Theater. It, so we really are feeling that. Well, you see, if, if the, if the ladies' room is going to have a I, stall, maybe, maybe I'll take a stall. You want a stall. <laughs> I guarantee you, you will have a stall in the new in the I guarantee it because you've been so wonderful to us ever. In any case, yeah, we are going to need a lot of help from the community, obviously. Okay.
There's going to be an event on February the 9th, is yes. it? February the 9th. Okay, this is not just an ordinary event, because if I know these people, they're going to be very creative and do wonderful things. They're going to have uh, auctions. Yep. They're going to have special auctions. They're going to have wonderful things. They're going to have a live band for yep. music and another band, a recorded band for music that the live band doesn't play. Right. So they've got everything. Entertainment coming at you from all directions. Everywhere. Sit yeah. down, dinner. Yeah. yeah. Okay. The point is that we want that theater, that players complex, to be the best that possibly could be. And it takes mm -hmm. additional money. So please help. Buy tickets for two hundred dollars a piece, but it's a donation, so you write it off on your taxes. <laughs> you write off most of it on your taxes at any rate. And enjoy an evening with all these wonderful people and all the preparation and the discussion of the new theater complex. I, uh, I can't tell you how happy I am for you. Thank you. But I'd be happier when we do a program saying that the new theater is opening a week from tomorrow. It's not. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. They're not ready yet. But they will be. And they want to be really ready. And you, they need your help. So let's put the number on the screen again, to call for, for tickets to the gala on February the 9th. There is the number to call, 365-2494, and you can make reservations or stop by the theater mm -hmm. and then yeah. just say, goodbye, old theater. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're, yeah. And We're, help with the new one. Yeah. Help with the things that need to be made, that need to be fixed, that need to be there's a lot. There's a lot of work to be done, but we're ready to do it. I know, and you're yep. used to it. And you're mm -hmm. all hardworking people, yeah. and uh, I can hardly wait. I know. I can hardly wait because I really you deserve this so much yeah. because you've given so much of yourself to the theater yeah. and and to players. And I hate to see and players has the the, the ninety the eighty nine year old players has served the community beautifully. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Phenomenally, over 89 years. I mean, uh, yeah. got to be something good. A lot of the <laughs> things that they're doing that's mm -hmm. really very special and good, they haven't done it all 89 years, but they've taken a chunk of it. How long have you been with the theater? 12 years. 12 years. It yep. seems like forever. But I know. Yeah. No, I don't mean that disparagingly. <laughs> I mean, it seems to me that, that they had some people before you who were interesting, not interesting, but you have personified what I think of when I think of someone who should be in theater. Community theater is different, and it really does involve the community. And having people like Eve and Donna who volunteer their time to be with us is spectacular. So we're always looking for more volunteers on stage, off stage, and of course donations as well for the, for the new space. But we make it very easy. Come see a show. That helps us. Okay. Uh, Come to the show. The next show coming up is... Vanya and Sonia and Masha and Spike. You don't have to remember the title. <laughs> Just go there, Vanya. You're going to buy tickets to it's it. It's very Put funny. that number on the screen, and you can call and buy tickets. I promise you an even a delightful evening. I promise you the kind of, of, of theater that, that uh, you will be excited about when you finish, and you won't stop talking about it because... That's the quality of the work that Jeffrey does. All right. Uh, we've got the talk about what some of the things that are, you're planning for the new complex. So we, we plan on having a large theater space, about 500 seats, with a balcony. What have you got now? Uh, a, a little under 400. OK. So we're going to expand just a little bit. We're also going to have a cabaret space that has food, and professional entertainment. I hope it also has uh, uh, Eve Calvert. It, it will, of course, because she's one of ours. <laughs> and then we're going to have a black box space that's just for alternative theater. And we've already had some other theater organizations and community organizations reach out to us to help use that space. And then our school, our Arnold Simonson Players Studio, will also have a large uh, area, couple, a couple of rooms and rehearsal spaces. Now, so folks, it's if you want to be in on the ground floor, I would suggest, I would urge you to volunteer your time and find something that you love doing 
and would be happy to do even as a volunteer because you, this is a wonderful, exciting group of people, by and large extremely talented, by and large hardworking. Mm -hmm. And if you'd like to be part of it, and that's okay, just call the theater, 365-2494. 2494. Mm -hmm. So call the theater and, and just volunteer your time, and then they'll probably suggest you come down to the theater yep. and decide what you'd like to do. And when you like to do it, you therefore be uh, assigned to do what you want to do and be part of this whole new complex. Mm -hmm. So get in on the ground floor now. Also, we'll see you at the February the 9th. Yes. Sit down dinner, music live music, dancing. Uh, there's going to be things sold and, yes. and auctioned. All sorts of fun stuff. All it's kinds a, of it's fun a Valentine's stuff. Day dance. What, what could be better than a Valentine's okay, Day so dance? So come and say, we love you, players. That's right. <laughs> Instead of sending a Valentine, send a check for $200 or check mm -hmm. better still for $400 and bring your friend. That's mm -hmm. right. Or bring someone who's going to be your friend afterwards. That's right. <laughs> Absolutely. How many people on your board? We have right now 15 people, counting oh. our advisory council. And we're always looking to engage new people that can help us build our new theater and continue in our current space for the next two years. OK. So we're always There is another for invitation for you. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, that's very important. I'm glad you mentioned that, because you're going to need a lot of creative people to deal with the new complex because yeah. there's all going to be new things there right. that, that you haven't dealt with before from what right. uh, Jeff is saying. No. So it, there's all kinds of fun and experiences waiting for you now at the players, the 89-year-old players, but also in preparation for the new players. Oh, I can hardly wait. I to, know. The new players that is going to be... Uh, Incredible, incredible. Uh, you are performing with your daughter mm -hmm. in this upcoming show. The February 9th, the, the Smitten with the 70s. Well, the that's February where 9th event. Cassandra, you're performing. Cassandra and what are you going to be doing in that event? We're going to be singing a bunch of 70s songs. Oh, a bunch of songs. Uh, it's okay. all about the 70s. So there's got Elton John, you got some disco, okay. uh, all kinds of fun upbeat stuff usually. Now, does your daughter have another occupation besides? She's also a physician assistant. Believe it or not, both my kids no, well, they, they got schooled in the arts, but they ended up doing. Uh, that's fine. It's, it actually that's fine. works it's great. It's wonderful. It gives them a solid background and, and an income. It's nice to and get they, paid. <laughs> and <laughs> Says the volunteer who doesn't make any money from that's us okay. I don't, I don't need to, to, to run my life, however. So, but my kids are lucky enough that they have a regular job where well, they get paid. Well, let me tell you something, and I'm sorry I didn't clip this article because it was so, so well done. Talked about volunteering and how it extends your lifespan. Mm -hmm. it, it, mm -hmm. it tends to, to give you a relaxation and a pleasure time that also have beneficial effects on your, on your well-being. So what they were saying, if you want to live longer, be happier, volunteer. So I'm going to live a really long time. A really, a, <laughs> Me too. A, yeah. really lo a really long time. Exactly. And so will you, because you volunteer a lot, too. People I don't realize. I volunteer in what I'm doing, because yes. it's, I founded this organization, right. and uh, I love it, and I want it to continue, and I want it to, uh, to be what it is. Yeah. So, and, I, and you are amazing, so thank you. Jeffrey, my darling, congratulations. Well, we'll see you all the way through. Yes. Beautiful, talented Eve Caballero, thank you for being with us, and thank, thank you. you for giving, sharing your talent with us. You are priceless because you're doing work that I would, you'd have to strap me down <laughs> and not let me leave and give me some uh -huh. Drugs. Thank you, Annette, for having to us. To have on. me do what you do because oh. it would drive me mad. So, but so you look none the worse for wear. So we <laughs> brought some pictures that we didn't show. We don't have time. We don't have time. We're, we're out of time. Oh, we, we oh. have a few more. We can show a few so, more pictures. So, what were our pictures? Okay, let's see a few more pictures. I think we have Banya, Sonya, Masha, okay. and Spike. That's my cast. Part of my cast. 
from Vanya Sanya. They all go to a costume party. So that's the silliness that is my amazing that is my amazing cast. There's Eve. Nice pictures, Jeff. Right. Well, we have a we have a gr we have great people at the theater that do these images for us. This is Joe Tricarico. Um, but it's a very funny play, <laughs> and uh, obviously yes. the actors have a great time. There's another picture of Eve strangling. Uh, Rhonda Hewitt, which, uh, <laughs> oh no, there's no Eve, there's no, well, anyway, Eve does strangle Rhonda in the course of the play. It's funny, it's smart. Cat fight. It's a cat fight. Uh, funny and smart, and it's very exciting for us to be able to produce this show. People will get a great laugh, but there's also a lot of heart to it. It okay. opens on October 25th. The show that is coming up now that will be running when you're watching this program yep. is... Banya and Sonya and Masha and Spike. What is the... <laughs> Those are all the It's funny already. I know. It's, what, it's, what is the background of the show? It really is a group of siblings that live in a house that their parents owned, and they just kind of fight all the time, and then the one sister who owns it wants to sell it. So it's, it's really just a group of very eclectic people in a house and what they do and say to each other, and it's often funny, but it, quite brilliant. When do they break ground on the new... On the Hopefully new we'll break ground next year. Okay, we don't know exactly, but in the next year. Oh, oh yeah, there it is. So oh, that's, okay. that's, the, okay. that's the potential that's space. That's a rendering? This is only 30% done. So we have 70% of the building to pay for design-wise. So this is what we think it's going to look like at this point um, uh, at Waterside. Now, exactly knowing uh, uh, that area, Yes. exactly where is it going to be? It is just about three or four blocks north of Fruitville Road off of State Route 70, uh, off of 75. So it's yeah, actually it's very convenient. It's, it's very close to yeah. Fruitville, uh, actually, road. It's actually closer to Fruitville Road. Yes. And you're going to have plenty of parking. Lots of parking, lots of space, lots of things to, for our families to and do. And I get the feel, knowing you, Jeffrey, and knowing the people that you surround yourself with, there'll be a lot of new thoughts that you haven't even entertained at this point. <laughs> That, that are going to be tremendously exciting. That someone will say, hey, wouldn't that be a great blah, blah, blah? Oh, I never thought of a blah, blah, blah. Right, right. Just, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. We've got less than one minute. Oh, boy. I want to thank you, my darling Jeffrey, my talented darling Jeffrey, and you got it done. Beautiful, beautiful Eve Caballero. Uh, talented, put a talented between each mm -hmm. of the beautifuls. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> thank you for singing. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Donna. Uh, again, I say what you do, I, I would never do because I would be unhappy about doing it. But because I don't like doing it, I, I, I like what they do. But <laughs> you have to I have do. that nope. kind of mind <laughs> to right. deal with these numbers and to deal with the board. Right. So bless your heart and thank bless you. your mind. Thank you for being with us. The best of luck to you. Thank you. You don't need my wish for best of luck. You already have it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We're finished. We're out of time. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye for now. The time really flew. We bid you adieu from community. Want to know why we love it here? So check out community. Well, it's a who's who, a what's, when, and where show. It's a mover and shakers who care show.